Welcome to Spice Up Your Source Code with New Colors. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, one of the you know one of the little things that came with version twenty is a new way to uh, color highlight source highlight your source code, um, and it's actually pretty cool. So um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is good old Visual Studio Code, and I have um, opened a random project, something we did on the channel 18 months ago, I guess, about XML data. Um, and and th this is actually a great example. So if we look at this, we can see that um, there's basically you know, a handful of colors. We have something that is, in this case, because of the color scheme that I use and so on, but there's, there's something in red, there's something in, in purple, there's something in white, and uh, other things in white, uh, strings in yellow and commons in blue. Um, but it, it's it's fairly simple and and if we start looking at this code because this code is a great example we can see that hey i created a variable called field clear not a variable called field ref and those are red right so so when we're using some of these uh, variables down here you can see then suddenly you no know, Everything is red, almost. Um, and the reason for this is that when it comes to highlighting source, there's different approaches. The, the common one, the, uh, the old one, the, the, the simple one, perhaps, is, oh, wow. Three fingers on the mouse pad. Is is this so? There was an editor called I think it was called TextMate, and that was kind of the first one that sort of defined how to do uh, highlighting. So it's the TM language file that defines, and, and you can see here that this is just a bunch of um, regexes, and if you get a match, then you know, something get a, 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 a type here from the, from the regex and um, that defines the color. Mean that if we search in this um, this table, we can see fields and we can see what was the other one that was called field ref, it's right there and so on. So that is a rather primitive and, and but but to be honest, it works, and we have been looking at this for 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 years now, and and we're happy. But there's an improvement, and the improvement is that we can use something different because what's happening anyway. So so let me let me explain that when I'm uh, when I'm typing here, we can see that as soon as I type something, I get the red red squiggly uh, line under under something because there's clear the syntax error. Uh, so the compiler is always running in the background and, and compiling uh, whatever you change. Um, so the compiler knows what things are. The compiler knows that in case of field here is not a word up in the, uh, in, in, in the, the field definition section, this is a variable. So um, if we could get the compiler to tell us what the source is, then we can give it way better colors. And we can do that now in version 20. Um, and the way we do this is actually to go to uh, our, our settings and we can find the uh, the AL language here uh, and, and look what we have here. And we have a bunch of different uh profiler colors that's not really but we we have a lot of stuff but clearly nothing about that but if we go into our settings json i'm just going to click on profile and then it's going to suggest that we add that and just delete that again so now I'm, I'm looking in my settings file and what we can do in here is that 
we can actually create a section. Let's just create it down here. We can create a, an AL section. And as soon as we do that, we get four editor uh, settings here. And if we look at the last one called editor.semantic highlighting enabled, you can see that is false. So let's set that one to true. I will save the settings file, close that one, close this one. And it already happened. You see, now this is different. So if we remove our highlighting here, then we can see that the, the problem here where everything was red is now field ref we know that's a variable field index is a built-in function on a, in this case on a, on record ref we can see that get integer is green so there's a brand new color in place there because that's a local function so now we're now that it's the compiler that is telling us what stuff are we can it can get way more granular then, um, then we, so so we can see that parameters are now in orange. So we can see the difference between a variable and a parameter. So this is awesome. Beware, of course, this takes just a tiny bit of uh, more power. Uh, I think because reg regex are certainly not free. Uh, anyway. Um, and you can have options where if the compiler is not started, then you get the, the normal colors. And then when everything is up and running, it switch over to the right colors. But this is, you know, this is a little thing, but it's really, really cool. Uh, and it, 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 you know, stuff like this looks way nicer, right? We got, the, we can see, you know, these are our own function and these are Microsoft function. Then this is a field and, I don't think we have any parameters in this function. Um, so I think this is pretty cool and I'm going to use it from, from now on. Anyway, that's just a quick little video on a, on a, a cool new setting in version 20. And since this is a short video, I suggest you go watch this one because that is clearly one of the best ones selected to you by the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.